Hi friends. Welcome to your favorite YouTube channel. It's crazy world for you. Please continue supporting us by like, share, subscribe and comment. Let's get into the video. We are sure everyone knows about leap year. But do you know about leap second? We assure you this 6 minutes video will give some insight into leap second. Everyone is aware of UTC which is Coordinated Universal Time. It's the widely used time format for international timekeeping. It's used as reference in most countries for civil time. UTC follows the seconds defined by International System, SI, which is based on atomic clocks. International Atomic Time, TAI it's a time scale that combines the output of some 200 highly precise atomic clocks. These atomic clocks were placed worldwide. These atomic clocks provide the exact speed for our clocks to tick. UTC is based on this TAI. Universal Time, UT It's the time taken by Earth for its rotation around its own axis. This time determines the length of the day. This time is also known as astronomical time. But the time taken for Earth to complete its rotation in its own axis is not constant. It varies slightly between day to day. Because of this irregular time taken by Earth for daily rotations the UT time will not be exactly same as UTC time. When the difference between UTC and UT reaches to 0.9 seconds, one extra second will be added to UTC. That is, to all the 200 atomic clocks that are placed worldwide. The extra second which is added to make the UTC and UT times to be in sync is called leap second. Should the leap second be added or subtracted? In theory leap seconds can be positive or negative. For positive leap second one second added to the schedule. For negative leap second one second omitted. Till now only positive leap seconds were used. In positive leap second the clocks are advanced by a second. This means the second is added to the time schedule, creating a minute with 61 seconds and effectively stopping the clocks for the extra second to give Earth time to catch up with the atomic clocks. A positive leap second is inserted between second 2359 and 59 seconds of a chosen UTC calendar date, the last day of a month, usually June 30th or December 31st, and second of the following date. This extra second is displayed on UTC clocks as 2359 and 60 seconds. Unlike leap days, UTC leap seconds occur simultaneously worldwide, for example, the leap second on December 31, 2005, 2359 and 60 seconds UTC was December 31, 2005, 1859 and 60 seconds, 6.59 and 60 seconds p.m. in U.S. Eastern Standard Time and January 1, 2006, 8.59 and 60 seconds a.m. in Japan Standard Time. Not all clocks implement leap seconds in the same manner as UTC. Leap seconds in Unix time are commonly implemented by repeating the last second of the day. Network Time Protocol Network Time Protocol freezes time during the leap second. Other experimental schemes smear time in the vicinity of a leap second. Since 1988, Upcoming leap seconds are announced by the International Earth Rotation and Reference Systems Service, IERS, in Paris, France. The first leap second was added in 1972. The last leap second was added on December 31, 2016, at 23.59 and 60 seconds UTC. The difference between UTC and International Atomic Time TAI increased from the 36 seconds to the current 37 seconds. Next leap second. Based on current predictions, the next leap second should be added on June 30, 2020. However, 
Since the speed of the Earth's rotation is subject to unpredictable short-term variations, the date may still change. Reason The tidal forces that cause water to rise and recede along coasts all over the world are caused by the gravitational attraction of the Moon and the Sun. However, as the Moon rotates around the Earth, it does so much more slowly than the Earth rotates on its axis. We see this as the moon moves across the sky rather than standing still. The effect that this has on each celestial object is that the Earth's spin is very slightly slowed down, by around 0.002 seconds each day, while the moon speeds up in its orbit, causing it to move away from Earth by around 4 centimeters each year. Why does this 0.002 seconds matter? Well, if a clock ticks at 1 tick per second, or 86,400 ticks per day, it will slowly fall out of sync with actual days as measured by the rotation of the Earth. Hope you learned something from our video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.